Sixth station, a woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We have seen him without beauty or majesty, without looks to attract our eyes. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. His appearance was so marred beyond human semblance and his form beyond that of the children of men. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that made us whole and with his stripes we are healed. Wiping someone's face is an intimate act, a loving act. It's been a lot of years since I wiped my own children's dirty faces. On occasion, I've been known to wipe a smudge off my husband's face. A few years ago, we were blessed to be asked by our niece to take care of her infant son while she was working during the day. We had him from the time he was six weeks old until he turned two. Those are the prime years for much hands-on care including wiping all kinds of things. Usually after a day spent outside, it involved a full bath, always fun with a squirming toddler. Lots of face wiping after meals as well. But I keep being drawn to today's news. We're told that people who are hospitalized now are not allowed visitors. I understand the need to control infection. They tell us that people are sick and dying without a familiar hand to wipe their faces or hold their hands. Comforting acts during a time of fever. Nurses and doctors are overwhelmed by the sheer numbers and severity of illness, yet many still find time for a tender touch, a cool cloth for a fevered brow. Let us pray not only for the sick and dying, but also for those caring for them for those wiping faces. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross, and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.